What's going on guys, it's the Cop Brothers here, and we have another episode of the Jack and Daxter HD Collection Let's Play with Jack 3, but we've made it this far, damn, that's been so fast, I remember back in February when I first made that first video, and um, all of you guys just started subscribing, and I got so many fans and so many, oh shit, what am I doing, no, what did I just do? See you guys, this is why it's not that good to commentate while playing the game because you can't focus. Whoa. You can't focus on both things at once and do very, very good. It's just really hard. But I just went flying off this cliff. I I'm not doing that again. Slow down. Oh. What did I do there? Why aren't there guard railings there? Come on, man. Come on. Who was the architect of this? They need to get they need to get blown up. Seriously, this is some kind of a med medieval fortress type of stuff. Oh, it's weird how Spargus is... What am I doing? It's, it's weird how Spargus is like the only inhabitable place in this desert. While there's so much desert and there's all of these marauders, they can't like make a real fort. I mean, they don't really have a special place that they're coming from. A special place, haha. They don't have a special place that they're all originating from and why won't they just get off me? I can't even hit them. This is the weakness of the Dune Hopper. They can't be shot at close range, which is really not that good. And once again, guys, this is live. I, I just got so mad when I read that comment about it being fake. I just, I don't have anything against the people, but it's real. It's live. I'm not even sure if you guys can hear the controller because I put so many effects on my voice um, and the editing process to get rid of the background noise. So when I get rid of the background noise, I guess it removes the sound of the buttons and stuff. It's always been this way. I'm thinking about finding a new program because it, it might make my voice sound clear while still allowing you guys to hear stuff like that. But uh, we're heading back over here to the to the monk's temple. And why gotta turn around? Oh yes, driving skills for the win. Well, that was pretty close. I was about to launch my turbo just to get over that, but I knew if I did, I was gonna end up getting shot into the water. And uh, I still haven't shown you guys what's in the water. Maybe when we're coming back from this area, I'll show you guys exactly what's in the water. It's not a lurker shark. It's something much much more creepy. I know. How could it be that creepy? But Creepy butt. <laughs> let's use up these turbos. No, 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 no. We're heading backwards. I don't want to fall into the, the waterfall. Come on, let's go. That was annoying. All right, now we have the jet board. Check it out, guys. It's so swaggable. And we're heading back into this tomb. Now, if you guys were paying attention... Oh, there we go. I was like, what the hell? If you guys were paying attention to like some of the areas around the tomb, you would have noticed where we we're supposed to go now. I wouldn't blame if you guys are just watching the video and you guys wouldn't know where we have to go because of that. But Naughty Deck has a really good way of pacing things and having things connect together. So we got the jet board back for a reason. And that seal from Jack's younger self comes into a huge part of this game. And you guys won't even believe it, but not only is it going to help us unlock areas in this, this same area, it's just going to be a lot more... And I know, an area within an area, area inception. Okay, so everything is safe here. Um, is there anything over there? Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's see. Now, we went this way last time. I remember destroying everything right here and opening that door. But, check this out, a Mar symbol. Getting somewhere. That's the ticket. Yeah, I'm not sure how he knew that was gonna work, but oh, 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 oh. get off me, get off, get off my roof, huh? Yeah. Oh, quad. Now, I'm not sure how he knew that was gonna work. I mean, coming all this way, risking your life to come here. I imagine it didn't work, and it was just gonna make you look like a derp. That would have been very bad. I hate going somewhere and not getting what I have to get done. Done. It's just so annoying for me. But Jack doesn't really have anything to do. I mean, he's not saving the world. He's just figuring out stuff about the past, and this is a ton of gems. Okay, now we have to get all of these light and dark. Oh, wow. See that? That was exactly what I was going to try to use for the, the intro for Jack and Daxter, like a dark and light Jack. But it was just too much. I'm not that good at Cinema 4D. As you guys, you guys probably were like, uh, like, yeah, he was doing such a good job with the original one. Guys, I, I could have done so much better if I had the know-how. It's just... 
I wish I had more subscribers so that I, I would be able to get stuff like that done for me because I know a lot of the bigger YouTubers that don't even know how to edit videos get that kind of treatment. They get their thumbnails made for them. They get the editing done for them. It's crazy. And uh, all they do is the commentary and they just talk about the gameplay like in Call of Duty videos. I wish that I could get pampered like that, but I, I, I guess I can't get everything, you know? Now let's see. Okay, we have to grind over here. This is a bit of an obstacle course. It's a bit of a learning tool for the jet board if you guys haven't played from the first one and the jet board has been tweaked in this game i remember watching a, a video about this as well they added more attacks to it better jumping mechanics slightly uh, adjusted to it um it feels a bit oh crap it feels a bit more sleek and smooth and at least you get to use this as a checkpoint sort of but it does feel a bit better because in jack 2 when a when a crimson guard mob was coming after you you had no way to defend yourself you would have to like perform a stunt and land on its head and then the attack mode would uh randomly activate in this game you have an attack mode and you have a super jump as well so are you kidding me i'll take it i'll take it i'll take it i'll take it just just let me go why am i why am i failing so hard i can't get up there we're gonna have to grind up there and I really like that that symbol right there it really shows the balance between the two it's a yin and yang symbol for the Jack and Daxter series it's the Mars symbol now a lot of people say how Jack's horns disappeared because of the light eco balancing him out I never really heard anything about that but that would make a ton of sense honestly it really would as to why they went away sort of uh, let me check let me check real quick Yep, the horns are gone. But in the statues, uh, oh, never mind, never mind. Whoa, I'm getting into some bad topics right here. Let's just say that the horns went away because maybe the light jack powers balanced them out, and uh, Jack is a lot nicer, even though he doesn't want to save the world. Where is this last one? Why is there this one that always haunts me? I think it's over here. I'm pretty sure it should be over here, is it? Yep, knew it. Now this glowing door should be open. Yep. That looks so epic. If I could make that into an intro, that'd be epic. Hopefully, maybe someone can make me uh, an intro for the next Let's Play. Even though this is my first Let's Play ever or the series, I really think I did a pretty good okay job at the edit. It was my first time around this. Even though I'm not ending this one off, I'm like, what? What? What am I talking about? But still, I think I did a pretty good job with the first one, and then the Jack 2 one, and then this one, I'm still working on it, but I would say I did a good job. Now, Light Eco Vent, and as always, I just like to power up, and you're going to be noticing a new power here, guys, and this is a really epic power, so let's go over to the Oracle and receive it. Now, wait, wait, real quick. The voices of the Oracle don't sound as badass as the one in Jack 1 and 2, but that's just my opinion. We meet again, Great Warrior, but sadly your coming may be too late. You will soon meet the seed of our downfall. It approaches quickly, and I fear we no longer have the power to resist. Behold, the pure power of light. We offer what little we have in this dire moment. Guys, this is one of the most epic moves in Jack- Oh, no, 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 no! Damn you, PlayStation controller! <laughs> this is one of the most epic moves in PlayStation history. Well, Jack and Daxter history. Actually, in my um, childhood, this is one of the best moves, but here we go. Nostalgic. Flash freeze. Now, this f slows down time for Jack to move throughout the area and wow that was pretty weird weird frame per second on that thing but um oh yeah by the way when you're in this form the light equal is still kind of drained so you want to be careful but it's really cool even though his hair is green in this what the hell um it's a really cool move I wish I could see it in real time like if I could have a, another camera perspective of showing how fast he's actually moving because when someone slows down time they're moving at lightning fast paces around the area so it would be like a ninja like across the thing like some naruto stuff or some into transmission type of thing where uh, dragon ball z is fighting and stuff but um yeah so with this new ability we can actually tra 